Democrats are panicking like never before over new swing state polls showing Joe Biden getting demolished by Donald Trump. The former president, you like that, huh? The former president is making huge inroads with key groups that carried Biden to the White House. A Democratic congresswoman getting confronted over why black voters are losing faith in Biden. But all she could do was insult their intelligence. Their feelings are dictating their reality. Their reality is that they said that they feel better or they felt better when Trump was in office. But we've been trying to push back. We've got some very popular African-American artists that are out here saying things like, oh, I got checks when Trump was in office. I want those checks again. We also have an issue as it relates to civics in this country and people not understanding exactly how any of this works. And Morning Joe is having a new meltdown over Biden's bad poll numbers. He thinks the problem is they're, they're not going after Trump hard enough. Whoever inside the White House is telling Joe Biden not to attack Donald Trump, stop it. Stop, seriously, stop it, all right? And maybe start a lawn service with push lawnmowers because you don't know what you're doing, you don't know what you're talking about, and you're costing the president. All right, Harold, how condescending is it for an African-American congresswoman to say that black Americans are basically too dumb to understand <laughs> civics and reality? I think any politician um, uh, that is condescending when they say those things, that the irony here is obviously more, more obvious and politically delicious to talk about. This is, black voters are like every other voter. Uh, crime is on the minds of black voters. Uh, inflation and the lack of buying power, diminished buying power is on the, are on the minds of, of every voter, including black voters. What's happening at our border uh, and how you think about your future and your kids' education. Uh, these are the basics in politics. Uh, the, the young congresswoman, I hope she reflects on what she said because I think she's entirely wrong. And she should be hopeful that her, her own constituents then view and hear what she said, because they may have second thoughts about her ability to represent them. If you believe that black voters somehow or another are wrong because they want more money, <laughs> <laughs> that somehow they're wrong because they want safer neighborhoods, somehow they're wrong because they want their kids to go to good schools. Politicians at their best meet voters where they are, and they all go to better places. Politicians at their worst, and there's a long line of them, who tell voters that they're doing better than they think, that they're healthier than they think, and they're safer than they think. A lot of them are at home right now. You know, um, and just to follow up on that, Jesse, is she says that... Uh, I think Joe Scarborough's right, though. Joe's right. He's right. <laughs> he is Joe right, yeah, thanks. We'll, right. we'll file that. Their reality <laughs> is that they felt better when Trump was in office. I mean, even she recognizes that, that African Americans, I mean, they, they had less unemployment ever. Uh, than in the history of this country. And also, Trump has 22 percent of the black vote so far. According to that poll, you're right. According yeah, to the poll, I, I New York think, Times poll. I, I think we should be treating voters the way I treat women, uh -oh. which oh, is hold data I this? don't tell them what they're feeling is wrong. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> also, I don't like when people speak on behalf of their own race. That's why I don't speak on behalf of white people. You know. I thought you were going to say Okay, that. but in the interest of equity, Harold, uh, with respect uh, and humility, permission to speak on behalf of all black Americans. Absolutely, 1%. I didn't think you were going to say yes. <laughs> I have nothing prepared. All right. In that case, Harold, I would say you're right for the first time. There is no difference between blacks and whites, especially when it comes to the economy. Gas still costs the same when you fill it up, no matter what color you are. True. A Big Mac meal is $18 now, no matter what kind of race you are that buys it. True. It's still impossible to buy a house because rates are at 8%. Doesn't matter what race you are. True. So, as she said, black people and white people liked that free money that we got during the pandemic. It's the same thing. So I don't think she should say those things. And, and it comes to Trump. Greg, you're going to love this. He's like a contractor with a horrible attitude. Comes into your house, <laughs> place probably smells like smoke, rude to everybody at the house. His car probably runs over your grass a little bit, but you know what, Judge? He remodels the kitchen job. like a genius. Your <laughs> wife is thrilled. It looks spectacular. Joe Biden comes in late and over budget, and that's why people don't like him. Mm. Can't get results.
You know, Joe Biden, Greg, proves, I mean, Joe Scarborough proves what we've been saying all along, that it's about keeping Trump out of office and not bettering the lives of Americans. You could tell that they were worried because you saw in that clip, Mika was double fisting. Yeah. Did you see that? She was like, oh, look at that. Huh? No, she's, she's not. got her mug and her other cup yeah. there. She's oh. like, yeah, God knows what's going on over there. Look, do, do blacks not go. understand Bidenomics? Yes. I don't understand Bidenomics. No one understands Bidenomics, including Joe Biden. He doesn't understand it either. Joe Biden's true Bidenomics are personal Bidenomics, right? His, it's getting money from foreign company, countries and getting it to him. If only you could expand that idea to the rest of us, that would really be generous. But there's one set of economics for him and another set for us. I would ask blacks, were you better off four years ago? Of course you were, which raises the question, was all the hyperbole over identity politics and white supremacy merely deception tools to convince blacks that the Dems were their only ally, that you couldn't trust the other party because they were racist? And it's the Republicans who will, be, who will victimize you, not the Democrats, who tell you that you're constantly oppressed, so they keep you in their pocket. It's one way to keep the races at each other's throat so you don't see how bad the libs have been treating you. All right, Dana, the best question for you. If he's in, if Joe Biden's numbers are so bad right now and we're a year out, um, what does he have to do? Well, they will say the fundamentals of their race are strong and that the economy is going to get better and that people are going to realize that Bidenomics and the infrastructure bill are really what matters to this country. And in fact, what did he do yesterday? He could have done, you know, a president can do anything any day that he wants. And what he chose to do an event yesterday with Amtrak mm. and announcing they were getting $25 billion. So mm. for B. I think it was billion, yeah. Wow. Um, and the, again, like in the previous block, this is not complicated. Rent's too high, jobs aren't plentiful, the, hard to get a mortgage, difficult on the school front in terms of getting school choice, although it's getting better in some places. And I think of Guy Benson. Mm. Guy Benson was you in... You too. Yeah, <laughs> and speaking for black America, Guy Benson. No, but Guy Benson was on the Perino on Politics podcast after the debate in Milwaukee. He took a Uber to the airport, and his driver was a black woman who wanted to talk about politics. She saw his um, credentials and said, were you at the debate? Want to talk about it. And she said, look, I, I'm paraphrasing, but basically she said, I'm a black woman in Wisconsin, Milwaukee. I'm a Democrat. She said, but I could understand why many people in my family will not want to vote for him next year because we're all working two jobs. We're all more stressed than we were. And nothing is better for us today than it was when Biden took office. Great so that's stress not, reducer, yeah. ice plunge. Mm. I recommend it to black women, white women, everybody. Mm. I'm never doing that. No. Never? No. Never. Harold? Not in the wintertime. <laughs> Coming I'm leave up. leave that with you. Leave okay. That with you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.